Yeah, the Drew Brownie Foundation um, is something very dear to my heart because um, I've had a similar situation with a younger brother who um, 15 minutes after he was born, um, unfortunately he died. I was probably nine or 10 at the time and obviously um, I was around my aunties, obviously while my mum was in hospital and my dad came to collect me to take me to the hospital. I thought it was to see my, um, my, my new baby brother and on the car journey away, he obviously pulled the car aside and um, he said, obviously your mum's in a bad way because we've, we've got some bad news. And um, obviously he broke down and said that, um, unfortunately your baby uh, brother um, has passed away and gone on to heaven. And as a nine, 10 year old at the time, it was very hard to, to, to take it all in. Um, but it's a date I'll never forget. And it's a, probably a memory from my childhood that um, I will never forget either, quite sad. Times have changed, but it's still, it's still not good enough. Um, it can never be good enough. So hopefully, like I said, with foundations all over the country and awareness, um, it can only improve um, hospitals, NHS, even private, to, um, to stop these things from occurring. So um, when Lynn and Peter came to me um, and told me about this great charity, uh, this great cause, um, basically about the Drew Brownie Foundation, it was something um, I couldn't wait to be a part of because like I said, it is something dear to me and dear to my heart. And um, then also you've got the, the golf side of it all as well, which is something very new to me as well and something, again, which is close to my heart. So. Um, Again, like I, I jumped at the, the chance to be a patron and to help this worthy foundation. When the golf days are coming in, I have a good input as to um, what we should be doing and stuff like that, and just ways of building the awareness. With my profile, um, I think so it gets a lot of um, outside people involved and obviously helps it expand and, and grow. Every year we have, we have raised the bar in with money that we have uh, raised for the charity. So who's to say hopefully we can raise it beyond all belief and with the contacts, like I said, we have uh, myself, George and Jonathan, hopefully we can have professional golfers coming down to help <laughs> raise the awareness and have celebrities, bigger footballers, and hopefully we can then be looking at six figures, even seven figures, raising that type of money and stuff like that. So. Hopefully the sky's the limit. Since I've been a patron of this foundation, um, I've done my research on it and it's quite staggering how many children are lost um, from being stillborn. And um, obviously the more money you can help, the more awareness you can build in this area is obviously gonna help provide um, more data into saving children's lives. And that's obviously the biggest goal and the biggest aim.